And now, your first alert five weather. Dry skies tonight from Skyway to Stratmore Hills all the way over to Broadmoor Bluffs. 51 is the current temperature. Out at the airport, it's windy north northwesterly at 23 miles per hour. That's live in Pueblo downtown. You're clear 56 the current temperature. Pretty stiff north wind in Pueblo at the airport north at 23, but you can see the trees not even moving right there at the river walk. Let's go up into the mountains, see what's going on in CC. That's a live look Bennett Avenue. Let the good times roll on a Friday night, but wear your warm clothes. 39 is the current temperature there. Take a look at these prolific totals that we received out of that monster storm the past couple of days in the springs, a record rainfall. That's a storm total of 3.79 inches. That's more rain, more moisture than we should get during the entire month of May. Pueblo out at the airport, a little less than seven tenths. Big stuff from Monument to Black Forest to Palmer Lake, five and a half to almost six and a half inches of water. Take that drought. Take that fire danger and then divide 18 inches of wet, heavy snow. Woodland Park picked up 12 inches of snow out of that system. This is life on the storm track. Here comes the next one. This energy is going to post up in northeastern New Mexico and kind of gravitate back into Colorado. We'll have a moist upslope flow around here on Sunday. There is rain in the forecast, and unfortunately for Mother's Day, it is going to be unseasonably cool. Some of the models keep this heavy rain down to the south of Highway 50, where you see these yellows. Those are the areas could easily end up with an end maybe two inches of water by late Sunday night. Just going to have mainly light rain showers around here unless that storm track shifts a little further to the north. Of course, I'll be in tomorrow 435 30 and 10 to give you updates on that forecast. But again, light showers forecast for now around here and that stuff will begin to taper off by Sunday night. Now tomorrow, if you're going to be outdoors, you're going to see a lot of clouds, a few sunshine breaks from time to time and most of the moisture west of I-25. This is where it's going to be real unstable up across the higher elevation. So rain and snow, snow on Mars. Monarch Pass tomorrow, thunderstorms as well, but as that action pushes to the east, it's going to run into that stable air and just run out of gas. I did keep a chance of getting some moisture around here, but I think mainly dry all across the I-25 quarter and points east for the day tomorrow. Temps today a little cooler than average. Pueblo high of 73 in the springs. We topped at 65. Those numbers three and four degrees cooler than where we normally are this time of the year. Speaking of cool, it's going to be a nice night tonight with these mostly cloudy skies, 42 and 44. That's exactly where we should be this time of the year. Tomorrow for your Saturday, again, a couple of sunshine breaks, but heavy on the clouds, mainly dry though. Afternoon high temperatures, 50s to around 60 here across the Pikes Peak region, a little warmer across southeastern Colorado. Not a whole lot of wind tomorrow. At times, it'll be out of the north 10 to occasionally 15 miles per hour. Here's that super seven day forecast in the springs. Cool and wet is the main screaming message for your Mother's Day Sunday. Just take mom out to brunch. Don't want to be outdoors when it's that cool and that wet. No big changes really in that precip pattern. I've got a chance of rain in your forecast each and every day all the way through Friday. Temperatures will fall off again by next Friday as the next cold front pushes across the area. Probably you'll need the rain gear on Sunday. It's cloudy, it's cool, it's wet. Rain starts Sunday morning, continues off and on most of the day. Warmer Monday through next Friday with an almost daily chance of PM rain and rumble. Get that moisture while you can when you live in a semi-arid climate. Canyon City on Mother's Day, you can forget about lawn chairs and barbecue grills and focus your activities indoors high of only 59 degrees. Not a lot of wind, but a little breezy at times to go along with that rainfall. Chance for showers and thunderstorms all the way through next Friday and in Woodland Park. More moisture in your forecast, but this time it's not that wet, heavy snow. It's going to be in liquid form and almost daily chance of getting some beneficial rain all the way through next Friday. Rob? Mike, thanks. New tonight.